Got yourself into a little kitchen nightmare? Don't pull your knives out just yet. Crafty Panda Bubbly's got you covered. Here are some clever kitchen utensil tricks you've never thought of before. Watch out, Jessica. No! Don't you just hate when that happens? Poor little plant. Do you have a spare pot somewhere? Hmm, how about a teacup? Just drop in a spoonful of expanded clay. Add some plant soil and put your succulent in just like you normally would. Don't forget to spray it with some water. Isn't this a fancy way to present your little plant collection? Emily stuck at home, so she thought she'd learn how to knit. It's going pretty well, but that ball of yarn sure doesn't want to turn into a sock. Off it goes, right up to Jacob's shoes. What's going on there? Jacob, do you know how to keep this little thing in place? If you have a spare teapot, put the thread through its spout. The ball will be safe and contained inside and won't bounce around your house anymore. Would you like some crafty tea, honey? It's the special wooly kind. Your household helper has done it again, Emily. Ah, no, this isn't right. What's going on, Emily? It seems like that darn pencil has a mind of its own. Have some ice cream. Maybe that will help you figure something out. The spoon is kind of the shape of an eye, isn't it? You know what, guys? She's got this. Take the handle and put it where you want the straight line to be. Now use the rounded edge of the spoon to draw that perfect wing. Repeat on the other side. Perfectly even. Hey, Madison, look! The spoon was like a stencil. That deserves an extra large ice cream portion. Just remember to wipe off that makeup first. Gotta go. Ciao, Bella. Woohoo! Wow, that was a great time. Party's over, guys. See you at school on Monday. Oh, it's so fun to have some friends over. But for some reason, they all disappear when it's time to clean. Quick, grab the trash bucket and get to work before the landlady comes back. That's a big mess. Spoons? There are plenty of those on the carpet. Maybe you can still use them to fix that lampshade. Cut that handle off. Spray paint it gold or another metallic color. Put some hot glue on the edges and stick it to the lamp. Go up and around until you end up with a super stylish scaly shade. Look how that thing shines. Wow, like it's made of dragon skin. Just don't tell Khaleesi. Looking for a way to hang your artwork, but it just won't hook onto that tiny screw? Oh, we've all been there, sister. Check out how you can use a simple fork to forget all that hassle. Hook it onto the screw, handle upwards. Now, gently hang your painting. Grab the fork, push towards the wall, and pull it out. Forktastic work, Molly. That looks delicious. Do you have all the ingredients, Jessica? You're missing a tablet stand, that's for sure. No, Clementines won't hold that. Countertop's too slippery. Calm down, girl. Breathe in, breathe out. You good? Right, let Adam do his DIY magic for you while you get yourself together. You'll need a broken photo frame. Watch out for that sharp glass. We only need the bottom part of it as well as the back. Hot glue that back to a wooden cutting board. Flip it and add that frame part somewhere on the bottom. How easy is that? Look, it's not for cutting. It's your new tablet stand. Now that's smart, Adam. You made your ladies cooking so much easier. What have you got there, Emily? Some peas? 
You need to divide them for later. Oh, but that was your last Ziploc bag. What tough luck. But there was this hack that you can use. Just put the bag on a flat surface. Heat up a knife. It might take a moment. And cut the bag in two. That's it, like some sort of magic. You now have two completely functional Ziploc bags. What else can you multiply, Emily? Fish? Molly's doing some long overdue cleaning in her basement. You can find so many exciting treasures there. Look at that box. Let's check what's in it. Old ladles, huh? They're much too dirty to be used for eating. But that doesn't mean they're garbage. Let's see what she can do with this. Take the ladle and straighten that hook out. Use a hammer. It's gotta be flat. Now paint the whole thing gold and, you guessed it, let's make some flower pots. Add some expanded clay and some plant soil on top. Your little succulents will fit right in. Hang them on your walls and enjoy this very eye-catching room decoration. That's a big spoonful of style. Jessica's in the mood for some pom-poms, but she just can't quite get started. Ugh, no use, two hands just aren't enough. What else could we use? A fork. It might work. Tie a lot of thread around the fork. Take another piece of thread and weave it through the fork's middle teeth. Tie a knot, not too tight just yet. Take the whole reel off and make the knot as tight as you possibly can. Cut through the loops and you've got yourself a perfect pom-pom. You can hot glue it into a pretty branch, like catkins on a willow. Or glue it on top of your woolly hat. Or make a pillowcase full of colorful, fluffy pom-poms. It looks so stylish and it's so much fun to make. You've really outdone yourself this time, Jessica. That's a whole room full of sumptuous pom-poms and a cherry on top of your head. Hey, Crafty Pandas. I hope you're enjoying this video as much as Jacob is. Let us know just how much by smashing that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And most importantly, don't forget to leave a comment down below. We read them all. What are you having for breakfast today, Emma? What? Are you on a diet? Because such a sight is a definite hunger killer. Yuck, all sticky. Wait, you're not gonna clean it up with a sandwich. Oh, that's right, the plastic wrap. That might be an idea. First, you have to clean that shelf up. No excuses. Then just wrap it up in a piece of cling film. And that's it. Yes, seriously. Fancy a jam sandwich, Emma. It looks like the jar leaked a bit on its side. Not a problem. Just pull on that cellophane and there you go. Clean as ever. Clever thinking. All that mess neatly wrapped. Ready to be thrown in the trash. You've earned yourself a tomato salad. Hey Jess, have you finished drinking your handmade carrot juice already? Well, nothing else left than to clean the bottle up. Your hand won't fit through the neck, will it? Wow, cleaning bottles can be so troublesome. Uh, come on, wash. Darn it, next time she's drinking juice from a soup bowl. If there was something that can hold onto the sponge from the inside. Cut a sponge in two, just be careful not to cut your fingers. Take it easy. Make a small incision where you want to hide the magnet and glue it all up. Do the same with the other half. Let's just check if it works. Yes! Prepare your sponges just as you normally would. Soap, water, you know the deal. Put one inside the bottle and add the other on the outside. Now you're washing both sides at the same time. If you don't have any magnets at home, you can easily find them in any arts and crafts store or online. 
for just a few pennies. Finish off with a quick rinse and you can already see the difference. So Jess, how do magnets work anyway? A pair of pants, a couple of shirts for a guy, you don't need much stuff for a holiday trip. What about the sandals? Ugh. Would love to see you try hitting on someone with these. Toothbrush! It's not like there's a big difference between sandals and teeth, right? Grab a bowl and fill it with water. And baking soda. Mix it up. This will be your washing liquid and using a toothbrush, it will be zero hassle to scrub the whole nastiness away. Obviously, it won't be suitable for teeth brushing after this. I don't think there's any need to explain why. <laughs> Finally, clean it up using a wet cloth. And we're done! Squeaky clean and ready for any holiday trips. Everything's set and ready to take off. Don't you dare come back without a tan, Joshua. <laughs> Hey Crafty Pandas, I hope you enjoyed these life hacks. Let us know which of them you're going to use next in the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay tuned for more.